Hello everybody and welcome back to Sky Saga Alpha 7. We are over here on the Metropolis Island and it is time for another build episode. Now, the reason I've called it the Metropolis, Metropolis Island is because that is what it is right now. We actually went through uh, between episodes and changed the name. Now, I've also done a little bit of other work here. As you can see, we've added in the rails that link the station down through to the middle here and I've also added in a little bit of lighting over here on the train which means that when we go into the train ta-da! the train is actually well lit and it's awesome and I think it looks really really good so yeah that's where we're at and now what I want to do is go in here and add in some seating and the like as well. So that's going to be really cool. It's going to be one of the first things we do here. We're also going to add some lighting in to the actual station pretty soon. And then once we've done that, we're going to start building up the actual exit to the station. Because once we've done the exit to the station, we can start building the actual island. And then I can go through and build the other stations at a later date. So anyway, that's currently the plan. We'll see how far we get in today's episode. Um, now, what I am going to do right now is start, like I said, lighting up the rest of this place, lighting up the inside. Oh, that's the final thing I forgot to mention. We actually do have a full set of windows in here now, so you can actually look out over our beautiful station. And yeah, I think that works pretty well. I'm not really sure how I'm going to light up the inside of here yet, but work all of that out. As we go through, we might use more of the stone beacons because that's what we've got down here in the train. It's just stone beacons in the roof. And these look really, really good as fluorescence, I think. And I'm going to need a lot of fluorescent lighting because this, of course, is a, um, yeah, a bit of a, a more modern Sky Saga build. So that's kind of what we're going to be going for. I'll probably end up putting some fluorescence in the roof along here and that will give us our light down into the main area. So yeah, like I said, I think the next step is to put some benches and decor items and stuff in the train and then we're going to start lighting up the inside here. We'll probably use some chains and a few other bits and pieces to light up the inside here. Uh, Ashley has also come along and given me some more iron. So I've got a little bit of iron in here that I need to start making up into more rods so we can put down more track and all that kind of stuff. But I'm also going to start using it now on other decor items because we've got lots and lots of other things that we need to build as well. So anyway, as you can see, I have a lot of work to be doing. So let's get on the road and start crafting some things up. All right, so a little bit of work has gone on around here. So we've got some nice lighting in up the top here now. And if we go down in here, we've got seats down in here as well. The only thing is this guy over here doesn't have its seats. I've actually got the seats in my inventory because that is actually stopping people from spawning. So what I need to do is move my spawn location down to this block here. And I'm going to do that a little bit later on. I've also been going through with Perilogy here and having a look at one of the next bits of the build. So this here is just kind of our little landing area. I'll talk about this in a second. But this down here is going to be our escalators and stairs up out of this place. So the escalators are probably either going to be out of the metal or out of the stone steps. I'm not quite sure yet. The metal does look better, but it is a lot more expensive. Um, and we'll have to see how all of that goes. And so, yeah, we've got an escalator down and an escalator up, and we've got stairs up through the middle as well. So I like the look of this a lot. I really do like the metal steps, but they are going to be really, really expensive. Anyway, we're going to have to work on that a little bit later. Um, so right now, like I said, what I'm working on is this place up here. So this is kind of the entrance landing spot to this whole area. So these are like the gates that you pass through. Um, so you kind of like swipe your card at your little point and then you can walk through the gate turnstile thing and you end up in through to the area where you can go down and go to the train. So these aren't quite what I really wanted them to be yet. I think I actually need to move a few blocks around and change some stuff up and probably end up um, placing down a few of these guys just as they are now. My inventory is getting very full and very messy as I've started messing around and doing things. But yeah, I might even use them just like that as a kind of little turnstile thing. I'm not really sure yet. We'll see how all of this goes. My head's so I'm still kind of working out how I want these things to look. Um, but yeah, that's the thing I'm working on now. I'm also put a little bit out over here. So this is going to be a little shop. So there's going to be some glass panes going in up in here. 
and I'll put a few shelves around the back area and a little door out into a nowhere zone because you won't be able to get in here, I don't think. I don't think I want people to be able to get up in to this area. But yeah, so this is kind of just going to be a little shop with just some pots and stuff scattered around the place. So anyway, I'm going to keep going, keep working on this place. I think it's coming along quite well. Very soon I'm going to have to actually put this place up and um, have it set and ready to try and put it over into Alpha 8 because the deadline for that is coming soon. But obviously, even once I have put it up, I am going to keep working on it because I love this build and it is really going well right now. All right, so this area up here is coming along pretty well. We've got some little kind of toll booth things now going on. So yeah, like I said in the last little bit, these are supposed to be the things where you go up and like put your card in and then this flips up or down or whatever and you're allowed through into the train section. But of course, you can't really do any of that in this, so you're just going to have to walk over top of the barricade. I've also put in a tiny little shop here. So this guy is really, really quite small. If we come around the back here, we'll see that it's literally just too wide. I'm going to put a little chair in here for the, like a person to sit at to kind of man the stole and we're probably going to end up with like fruit bowls and things hanging on the walls it's basically just going to be a little convenience store there's going to be one of two shops that are in this little area so this is the little convenience store and then up here or maybe on the back wall there is going to be like a ticket booth thing where it's going to be pretty similar to this but there's going to be a bigger open window and it's going to have a little bit more space inside of it and I might even try and mock up some computers, but I don't know, that may be a little bit beyond what I can get done with the Sky Saga. But yeah, so that's going to be where you buy your tickets to go in through, and then of course I've got a little disabled entrance here as well, just because there always seems to be one of those, so we'll put that in. And I've also started hanging some large frames around the place, uh, just to kind of give off the like, advertising type vibe that usually happens in these type of places. So yeah, this is how all of this stuff is going. I still need to light up down in here, but I've had a plan. So what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to use the milkstone beacons pretty much everywhere because these things really do look a lot like fluoros from the underneath. So considering I'm going for a very modern type build, I really want to try and use these as much as possible. And you can see I've used them in here already and it gives that kind of nice kind of modern type lighting feel. I've also used them in through this corridor and I'm probably going to end up using them down these staircases as well. So what the plan is now is to actually get up a whole bunch of uh, grey iron chain links and chain link down to the middle of each platform and then at about four or five blocks high, maybe just a little bit higher than the train, I'm going to put runs of fluoros in. Uh, so it kind of gets lit up like a normal train station would be lit up, I guess, just with hanging fluoros and things. I might even put a few in the ceiling up here as well, but we'll have to kind of have a look at that and see how all of that goes and if that looks good or not. Hopefully that does, but yeah, once again, we'll, we'll see and we'll change our plans and ideas based on how things actually look when they go down. So then of course, we've also finished this area off in here probably want to put some seating or something in here and a few fluoros and whatever else in here to make it just a little bit nicer and a little bit more like it's an actual observation area. Other than that, I think this place is actually coming along pretty well right now and we're getting pretty close to actually finishing off this station and drink, bringing the staircase up to the surface and actually getting started on the surface and that is quite exciting because the surface is kind of where everything is going to go down. So anyway, I've got some stuff to collect up, I've got some more bits and pieces to do, and yeah, we'll get started on bringing this place to life. Right, so I have the station or the platform lighting issue solved, as you can see. Put a nice little light down there, and we'll go have a look at that in a second. I've also changed over all of these guys, these were torches, I've just changed them over to our stone beacons. I've put a stone beacon up in here as well, but I think I'm going to need some form of hanging thing in there too and if you were quick you probably did just see a quick little shot of how the lighting is being done in here and there you go check it out so we've got the chain links hanging from the ceiling and oh this thing has got spots on the inside of the glass that's really cool I, for a second there i thought there was like bugs or something floating around in the build that was weird um but yeah so we've got these um stone beacons kind of hanging off of chain and if we come down here and have a look, I think it looks a lot better from the ground level, just like that. So these are all made out of 
the gray stone, which I think is called Wisp right now. So Wisp, Stone, uh, Lanterns, and Chain as well. Now, I did want to try and make these look like they were connected up, and I thought, oh, I'll just place down some grates, but I completely forgot that grates go into the top of the block and not the bottom of the block, which was a bit of an oversight on my part, but there you go. Silly things do happen. Probably going to end up throwing a few extra beacons uh, up in here along this line, maybe only at kind of like just above each of the paintings, I think, just to kind of like show those off a little bit more. Because of course, this is nighttime right now, so this is what this station is going to look like forever, basically, because I am going to, probably before the end of this episode, cave in this wall here and make it just so that we've got little loops for the trains to go out of, and that is it. That's all there is around here. So I basically need to make sure that I'm lighting this place up as well as I possibly can, uh, which is going to be a very big job. As you can see, those beacons haven't really done all that much for me, and I've used quite a number of them. Although they are relatively cheap to make, because they're mostly stone, and I've got lots and lots of stone, and then they're just a uh, one decorative jewel as well. So that is actually not too bad. One de decorative jewel is pretty good. I mean, I was looking at using the large hanging lamp, but that thing is 30, uh, 30 crystals just to get going and have one of those. So yeah, considering that it doesn't really fit with the theme and it's just really expensive, I probably am and going to end up not using one of those and just kind of repeating this pattern over here and then potentially also up in the middle as well. So I've got a bit of light going in over top of our trains. But anyway, that's a lot of work that I need to get done. Have, nothing else has really been done up here. This end is gonna be blocked off with a wall very soon because I do have plans to kind of maybe come over here and build another extra station out over here somewhere. But that is definitely for another day. Also, I have actually moved my airship, so my airship used to be kind of about here. It's now here because that means when you spawn in, you actually spawn into the front of the train. So you spawn in here is where I've got the spawn in point set. So you actually get this cool view of the train as you come in. And then you come in through the train and you can go up and out through here. Kind of hurdle over my little barricade things and then up to the surface. So yeah, that is, it's all coming along pretty well right now. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with how this is all progressing. A lot, I mean, a lot of what I'm doing today is kind of smaller detail stuff, so it's not as big and as rapid as getting this huge station done. But I, like I said, I'm quite happy with it, and I'm quite happy with the way it's going. I'm really loving these stone beacons and using those as a light source. Anyway, I need to Put some more stone beacons down here, probably put some more stone beacons in through the middle, and then, yeah, we'll be getting pretty close to closing this place up. So, here we go! One almost fully lit up station, or at least lit up enough that you can wander around on the platforms, and everything goes pretty well. So, the other thing is, I obviously need to kind of light up this side a little bit. I mentioned that in the last little bit. I'm also probably going to try this kind of, like, under lighting, so you can see the tracks, because I've hung some more lighting from the ceiling here, but the actual light source stops at around about this block here, which means that these tracks aren't going to get lit, and that means that when it is completely covered in, in here, that stuff is just going to be completely dark. Anything that's kind of sort of grey right now is just going to be completely pitch black. So, yeah, I'm going to end up yeah throwing in a little bit of underlighting along here, just to add a little bit of extra stuff into it. It is going to use up more of my gems and bits and pieces, but I think that's all right. It's, that's basically what the, all of these gems are about, and thankfully we can get hundreds of them pretty easily in any common white world. So that's going to be pretty easy to do, so that's what we're going to be doing, I think, for the lighting situation. Uh, just lots and lots of these guys, because they do look pretty good, and they do, like I said before, look very much like fluoro lights, which I like a lot, because it's kind of what I'm going for. So yeah, this is all going pretty well down here. I think the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a roof on our little kind of check-in area up here, and we're going to add more light sources up in here. And then I am going to put the other little shop, like ticket shop, that's going to be out further here. And then our little staircase that I've now pulled apart, or staircase and escalator set, is going to go up 
this way and probably have a little turn and then come up this way and then probably have another little turn and come up over here because this place is pretty uh, central, so I'm pretty sure the center line here is actually the center of the island. So I really want to have a road come up through this way, which means that once I have my location for the surface, I want to put down the road and then some sidewalk, and then in part of that sidewalk will be the kind of little section that you come out of. And yeah, you can just get to places from there. So that's kind of, I think, the plan. That's where we're going right now. I might even have an underpass under the road. So it's going to be like, this would be your floor level. And then we'll have just like a little tunnel that's like too wide or something and too high. And that just gets you underneath the road. So you can actually get into this train station from either side of the road. And I think that's going to be really, really cool. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the plan for now. The next little bit, like I said, is going to be putting a roof on this place and lighting this all up correctly. So lots more stone beacons in the works. Alright, so lots more progress has been made up in here. We actually have our full little kind of area done and dusted. So this, like I said, is our little gateway area. Over here, we're actually going to be building in the kind of kiosk and like ticket sales and stuff. And that's probably going to be in, I don't know, let's say about here. Just along... Most of this wall, actually, because it's going to be a large ticket sales area, and we're going to have a couple of windows, and we're even going to have a couple of people... Well, I say people. It's probably going to be um, scarecrows or something eventually I'm going to put in there. But yeah, we're going to have a whole bunch of stuff in there. So that's going to be our little ticket sales area, and then we're going to come down through here, over the little ticket barge, and down to the railway station. Now, the railway station has had a little bit of an upgrade, too, this back wall is now finished, and these are going to be the tunnel widths. Well, at least up until this point here. So now at this point here, we're actually going to have one big tunnel that takes up all four train slots. And yeah, up until that point, they will kind of be this shape. They'll kind of come out here and bend around this way. And then once they get to here, they'll open up into this one large train tunnel which will come all the way down to the center. And the center point is going to be a big, big kind of domish roofed thing that holds all four uh, track runs off to other places. I'm also thinking I've got a few kind of weird little um, ideas about what to do here because I sh want people to come along and have a bit of a look at it. So I'm actually thinking that I might even build some interesting stuff down the tunnels and maybe even like put some graffiti in or something down the tunnels because otherwise the tunnels are going to be a little bit blah and not really have a whole lot to them. So like I said, I really want people to come down here and use this. It's definitely going to be the fastest way across the island is to come down a train station and then run just straight on through all of the tunneling to the other side. And then once you've run all the way to the other side, you'll be able to find a train station here and make your way back up to the surface, which I'm hoping is going to be a lot faster than dodging and weaving through the buildings that are going to be put on the top of this thing. Well, maybe you're going to be put on top of this thing. It's basically going to be a case of whether or not we get this island saved for Alpha 8, because if we do get it saved for Alpha 8, this huge, huge build is going to continue. If not, I might take a break from doing Cityscape stuff for a little while and do some other stuff because there's a really cool build that I've been meaning to do for a while that I haven't got around to yet. And that one's going to be more along the lines of a bit of a level. So it's going to look kind of more like a dungeon that you could crawl through. Uh, but yeah, so we'll see what happens with this place and whether or not it gets saved for Alpha 8. Uh, and like I said, if it does get saved for Alpha 8, there's still a lot of stuff that we can be doing around here. Anyway, this is probably going to be a very short episode. I'm probably going to have maybe one more little cut just to put in place this little area over here, and then I'm probably going to have to be done with that for today. This episode is going to go up late as well. I've just had an absolutely insane week, and it's just been ridiculously busy, so I haven't had as much chance as I usually would to get on and play some Sky Saga. But anyway, I hope you guys have and enjoyed this and I hope you guys like the way that this station is coming because I'm very happy with this right now. I think this is coming along marvelously and once we've got all of our lighting and stuff in place, 
this thing is going to look very modern and very, um, yeah, not as mythical as some of the Sky Saga builds that I've seen around the place. Okay, so here we go. As you saw before, the roof is now on. I've started having a little bit of a play with lighting and the roof, but unfortunately, as you can see down here, this little guy just gives absolutely no light to the floor. That light that's on the floor is from me and also from in over there. So that means that, yeah, this place needs to have a bit of a different thing going on with the lighting. So probably going to end up having to take the same technique that I used down here for our like hanging chain lighting stuff and bring it up in here and have it just hang just a little bit lower off the roof because like I said the roof is just that little bit too high which is a bit of a pain but these things happen now here we go this is our little like ticket sales booth so just for now there's just a couple of chairs in there and I've got my little ticket sales windows I'm going to have to come back to this at a later date and have another look at it and add some more details and stuff to it because while that's really cool as it is there's definitely like I need to see if I can like build a computer of some kind maybe um, but yeah that's the type of thing that I'll have to work on in the next episode or maybe not even in the next episode because the next episode I really want to get these steps done and get to the surface level because we've been spending a lot of time on this railway station and it is about time we actually moved on and moved up into the surface level of this build. Yeah, so this is, I think, going pretty well. Like, this station has come along a lot better than I thought it was going to come along, basically. The other thing I think, am thinking about doing, so I've got these little doors, one here and one over here. So these are the entranceways into our little uh, shop areas. So I'm actually thinking about having those link up. So having this door kind of come curve back around here and having some kind of like, uh, I don't know, uh, workers lounge or something back here. And then to get to it, I think I actually want to have the workers jump in through the track. So basically you come down these stairs and then you can come down here to the bottom of these tracks and walk out this way somehow and then, yeah, you can make it up into the back end of all of this stuff. So I think that's uh, going to be a really cool idea. And I think that's going to just add a little bit more detail to this place. This thing is, yeah, I just one of those uh, builds where every time I do something, like add a little shop, I have like a hundred ideas of little bits and pieces that I can do to that to make it just that little bit more cool and make this entire build a little bit more cool. But Basically what that means is that we are very, very quickly running out of time because I've built all of this already and I still have a very, very large section of island with absolutely nothing on it. So I'm thinking it's probably going to be, yeah, next week we want to do more blocking stuff out and doing um, big build planning rather than the kind of detailed work. I did today, but at the same time, I also do want to come through and finish lighting this place up and get this place looking good and then place down the escalator that is going to be here. So that escalator is probably going to come only up to about this roof level, like I said before, and then we'll have that little tunnel that goes along the roof level and up to the street level. I think that's how we're going to do this, but it will basically depend on how that escalator comes out and if I like the escalator or not and all that kind of stuff so yeah that is it for this week i hope you guys enjoyed that one if you have any suggestions or comments about the build please leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next video